There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. YouTube! Konami has screwed up big time. Big mistake, Konami. Oh my Jesus. Mask Tribute. They created this <laughs> They created the skill for Des Guardius. Well, the best way to use this skill is not with Des Guardius. We are instead going to abuse the skill like many other skills have been abused in the past, like three star demotion, cyber style. Let's talk about it. You return any card from your hand to the deck. Then, you randomly play a 1500 attack normal monster onto the field, Tiki Elder or Four-Faced Beast. They pretty much have the same stats, being 1500 attack both. You could not summon any monsters for the rest of the turn. That means you could normal summon, set, or special summon before activating the skill. Now, why is this so good? First of all, with nothing else, it's just an extra body on the field, 1500 attack. That means if you activate Red Eyes Fusion and then you activate Mass Tribute, where Red Eyes Fusion says you cannot special summon after using Red Eyes Fusion, you can't even special summon that turn. Well, you're not special summoning the Tiki. You're not special summoning the Four Face Beast. You're placing it on the field from outside of the deck, and that's bigger than 4K. That was supposed to be the, the way to balance Red Eyes Fusion that you can't OTK the turn you use it. Now you can. Let's talk about even more synergy. We're using Creature Seizure. Each player gives their opponent control of one of their monsters, but we must give them a normal monster. So we activate Mass Tribute, shuffle a card in our hand, back in the deck, summon our Tiki, then give them Tiki, and then they give us their Slash Dragon. Slash Dragon cannot even negate it, so if they have a card equipped to it, you're taking control of their Slash Dragon. We took control of Sheehan's Slash Dragons, Buster Blader Dragon Destroyers. This is such a great card with the skill. Love it. Now, the whole deck itself is red eyes with it. You could pretty much play Creature Caesar Mass Tribute in any deck. It doesn't have specific synergy with red eyes itself, but it's a new deck and we decided to use it with that. Red Eyes Fusion is the new top tier Red Eyes deck. This is just gonna be a replay of what the deck does. You could skip this part if you want, if you've already heard it from other uh, videos of Red Eyes, but if you're new, Red Eyes Fusion is the new top tier card of the Red Eyes Structure deck. It's the best one. It allows you to use fusion materials from your hand, field, or deck to summon a Red Eye Slash Dragon. Red Eye Slash Dragon equips a warrior from the grave on its attack, and then it can negate any card that targets it. If destroyed by battle or card effect, it could special summon in that warrior from the grave now something new is i'm starting to play buster blader in all of my red eyes decks why because if your red eyes slash dragon gets destroyed and you special summon buster blader you dominate the mirror match you dominate blue eyes white dragon blue eyes white dragon's top tier and so has red eyes so putting in a single buster blader even if you're not playing against a red eyes deck or a blue eyes deck, it's 2600. It's still a good add. A lot of people are also playing Amazonist Queen. People are playing DD Warrior, but I like DD Assailant. It's kind of pay to win, but you could play the cheaper ones if you want. If they destroy your monster by battle, you get to banish it. I'm teching in a Wyvern. I'm kind of iffy on this. I also want to try out playing Necrofusion. Now, a Red Eye Spirit might be better than this. I'm just testing stuff out. The meta is really new. People are countering each other. People are changing their decks like crazy. The, the meta's all over the place. It's not contained yet. Necrofusion is great when you send your Buster Blader to the graveyard to make a Buster Blader Dragon Destroyer whenever you want. You banish the fusion materials from the grave, you summon D Dragon Destroyer, it puts all their dragons in defense, you gain a thousand attack for each dragon, you deal pierce damage, they can't activate their effects. It's amazing against a Red Eyes or Blue Eyes deck. And we have insight to make it more consistent. Send a red eyes from the hand or deck to the graveyard to then add our red eyes fusion. So it's like playing six. We're also playing one return. Do not play return without red eyes archfiend. Red eyes archfiend allows us to blow up all their monsters. You summon it on their turn. Then on your turn, you normal summon it for its Gemini effect. Then you sweep the field. Econ with the Tiki's is also very good. So we got double Econ, triple creature seizure with the mass tribute. This is a lot of fun. Kunami is definitely down the line going to nerf the skill. It's not being used as intended. And a quick little sneak peek for future videos is you could also use this. You literally have a pot of greed whenever you want in any deck. Think of any deck you like. Would you like to draw two extra cards? You could play Mass Tribute with White Elephant's Gift. Shuffle a card back in. 
Special summon your Tiki, send it to the graveyard with this card, draw two. So we'll be thinking of the best way to use that. Lots of people are it's these two cards, Creature Seizure and Elephant's Gift. Have at it! All right, we got the Red Eyes Fusion. Yami Yugi. This is a Neos player living in the past, potentially. Send that Buster Blader boy. I can't wait to draw my single Necro Fusion. My single Necro Fusion. And this could take face down cards, right? This is... Nuts! Cheer from B Wins. Decayed. I am so upset about the Kaibacor bling change. Why would you be upset about a needed change that definitely needed to happen? It was not good for the game. I feel bad for any player that invested towards Kaibacor bling, but it's not good for the game. Konami, they made a quick buck off of you guys, unfortunately. I would expect that to maybe even make some of you quit the game. That's kind of BS. It's really stupid. But it's needed. It's needed. I spent a lot for my hard-earned cash. OMG. Yeah, B wins. It sucks, man. It really does. But it, we, even, even people that were abusing it, they were upset about maintaining it. Every single new box set that came out, every new deck type, they were having to spend that money all over again. Just think of it like being a 6am player. Don't don't focus on Kybercore bling being nerfed and wasting all your money on that. Think about it as a 6am player just playing, buying a legit tier 0 deck and then now it's not even tier 1 anymore. There you go. How do you think they feel? Mask <laughs> Tribute! Now, instead of Econ taking, he could have a Sphere Kribo. He should have a Bacon Saver in the grave. How about we give him a Four-Faced Beast so we could permanently have his monster? Thank you. Thank you very much. Get her done. Quip. He does have a Sphere Kribo. Interesting. So this permanent, this permanent steal was very, very good. Okay. Oh, that's the only Sphere Kribo you have. Give me my monster back. Give me my four-faced beast. You fool. What are you thinking? Get out of here, son. Get out of here. Yoink. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's crazy. The meta is changing so quickly. It is quite difficult to catch up, but I'm actually loving it. I'm loving it. Is this a Kybercorp Bling cheater? He's a cheater because Kybercorp Bling will be nerfed soon. Heidi Kate, sorry, been busy. May I send you the video because I know it was too late? Thank you, Milk My Weed. Yes, yeah, send me the video. And as soon as I do the song donations, I will play it. We'll play it. This is not a good creature seizure. We want him to have only a single monster. Meta might change next week. Monka S, that's right. You never know. You never know. Red Eyes Fusion. No music on Happy Face. It's coming. It's coming. I hate drawing it, man. I hate drawing you. Ghost, tier one for 21 months. Suh. Suh right back at you. Thank you so much, Ghost. Econ before my attack. Very good. You ideally want to use it in the battle phase because I might have additional plays to make. Or you could be playing around, you know, a anti-magic arrows. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Let's just do it. Tiki. It's always the Tiki Elder. Always the Tiki Elder. This is like, Konami messed up here. I'm gonna say it straight up. This is not intended. Just to summon a 1500 attack monster, this is cyber style all over again. And I can synchro with this, correct? I'm gonna read the skill. Can I synchro summon with it? If I could synchro summon with it, then they really screwed up. Future exceeds summoning? Yeah, that's nuts, man. That's too much, they done goofed. You can't synchro? Okay. Not the same turn, but I can. Okay. Then I guess that's kind of okay. Creature <laughs> Seizure! Give me that fat booty! Wow, summoning him last turn was perfect! Perfect! Come to me! 
Your monster is mine. And then we can follow up with a fusion. Wow. Wow. Why are you not playing Jaden? You start with the Neo Space, don't you know? Don't you know that? <laughs> Thank you for your Elemental Hero Neos. Give him that nice. Give him that nice. For example, let's say you thought that Wyvern was a problem there. Wyvern versus what? What could it have been that you think it would have been better? Zuckram, Deep Prism is for wussies. No thank you. Get out of here with that. Do I look like a wussy to you? No, we got big balls. We make big plays. Now, if he does not summon another monster, which I'm sure he will, our creature seizure would have been amazing. Amazing! Just set a card. Set. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. He'll probably negate the insight, right? We can't use this and then the Red Eyes Fusion. But I would probably... We'll just do it next turn. And we'll set up with the insight, I'm thinking. Double creature seizure. Negate. Okay, I got another. I got another. Your Xi'an is mine. Nice. Nice. Now we'll send the Red Eyes Archfiend. We'll set up with... I might want a double Red Eyes Fusion. It, it seems so greedy, but if he's for some reason sets up with a red with a Xi'an himself, I feel like this is win more and this is guaranteeing my victory. Win more, guaranteed victory. Because if he Xi'an negates me, then we're in trouble. And I have reason to believe he'll be able to easily do it. He can make a Xi'an beat down, swing over Xi'an, and that's it. That's it. And then we're stuck with the red eyes, return of the red eyes. No win more, no win more. We want to win. I should have given him the opportunity to potentially negate the insight so then I could Red Eyes Fusion first. Kind of took away that chance for him to misplay on purpose. I feel like my brain was going for it, but then I didn't do it. Okay. Dual wield. Dual wield. Red Eyes Spirit over Necro Fusion since you could search it. I might switch to it. So you see, you have a good argument. You do not like a card in my deck. You are suggesting something else. And my reasoning for Necrofusion is because I want... Hey, we'll see. We'll see, sir. My reasoning is I want to actually test it. Want to test it? Exactly what I said happened. Do you listen? Red Eyes Fusion! Not that anyone was saying anything against this. Now, very important, guys. If you want to become a better player, there's a very important detail as I do this. The detail is, check the hourglass up here. Top players do not want you to know this. Top players hate me, okay? Does it turn yellow on the summon? Does it turn yellow on the summon? It didn't turn yellow. What does that mean? That means if you set Necrofusion, you're a fool. That means if you use your skill, Mass Tribute, you're a fool. You just attack. That's it. It's a dual wield. It's that simple, guys. That simple. Now he could use dual wield, but then I can negate it. So show me that it's dual wield. Now there's a delay. See, now it's yellow. Now he dual wields. Now I negate it. And now he cries. Top players hate him. One easy trick to make you look like a fool. Get out of here. If we set this, he would have done it before and we couldn't negate. Come on, buddy. Yes! Any replacement for Creature Seizure? Well, it is the core of this deck. And you can play Elfin's Gift instead if you want to play this version of the deck. It's the only reason why we're playing this skill is Creature Seizure. And it is a free ranked super rare ticket. You could obtain it for free. I'm back. I have a question. How do you feel about ass eating and how it can affect our economy and potentially affect the meta and dual links? I think it's a big issue. Definitely needs to be addressed. Thank you. Let's just 
Red Eyes Archery and Lightning. Thank you, Big Brain Memes. DNA surgery. Now I'm a dragon, huh? Now I'm a dragon. Actually, actually, this deck should be good against Buster Blader. I was upset. Now I'm not upset. Now we're happy. Uh-huh. I would have summoned another monster if we could attack directly with his Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, but we can't. Oh my god. Why are you playing this song? Don't fuse again. No more, no more. No more. Chill, 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 chill. No more, no more. Yes! We have double creature seas. We also have a necro fusion. This should get us back in the party. He could have just another Buster Blader, potentially. Potentially. Creature seizure. Dude, he's got nothing. <laughs> he's got nothing. He has he can't fuse. He does not have a buster blader. Oh my Jesus. Yes. You fool. Love it. Yes.